Augustine taught that we inherit guilt from Adam via our parents. He didn't just say that we were born with a sinful urge. He claims that we are already sinners when we are born, before we've had the chance to sin by ourselves, because we inherit the guilt of Adam's sin. It's easy to confuse this doctrine of original sin with the doctrine of original sinfulness, that is, the teaching that all humans are born with the inclination and natural propensity to sin. So that all humans are sinners because they all sin. Therefore, in order to save confusion, I'm going to refer to Augustine's doctrine as the doctrine of original guilt. Part of Augustine's reasoning depended on the rather laughable idea that Adam's sin is transferred during sexual intercourse. This was the only way he could explain why Jesus didn't inherit Adam's guilt. Augustine regarded sex as inherently sinful, perhaps because of his rather misspent youth, a time during which he uttered his famous prayer, Grant me chastity and continence, but not yet. However, the five million babies conceived by in vitro fertilisation during the last three decades have proved Augustine wrong in that detail, because they sin just like those conceived in the traditional way. So was Augustine also wrong about the rest of the doctrine of original guilt? He developed this doctrine in order to combat a heresy. Pelagius claims that humans could be sinless because Jesus referred to Abel as righteous. Augustine countered that Abel might have not sinned personally, but he was still guilty because even newborn babies have guilt. To prove this, he quoted Romans 5.12 from the Latin translation, Sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin. And in this way, death came to all people in whom all sinned. Augustine interpreted in whom all sinned to mean in Adam all sinned. So that every human born from him shared that guilt. But Augustine's proof was based on a faulty translation from the original Greek. The Greek verse has F who because but if this is changed just a tiny bit to en who, it could be understood as in whom. However, no Greek manuscripts say this. They all say death came to all people because all sinned. That is, humans don't inherit guilt from Adam, but all humans personally sin and thereby become guilty. Having brought up two children, I know how soon the propensity to sin reveals itself. And I can't believe that anyone would even get to toddler stage without having done something wrong. So we certainly all inherit sinfulness. And without Augustine's doctrine of original guilt, we don't have to worry that innocent babies go to hell. As James 4.17 says, sin requires a knowledge of good and bad. If anyone knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin. I fear that Augustine's doctrine of original guilt removes some of our motivation to conquer sin, because being born with guilt makes us feel it isn't worth trying to overcome it. We feel that God is displeased with us, and anyway, his judgment is dealt with by his son, so we don't worry too much. Perhaps we would respond differently if instead of concentrating on God's displeasure, we concentrate instead on his love for us. This might make us more aware of his disappointment when we fail to live up to the wonderful new human creation that he has given us in Jesus. Dropping the doctrine of original guilt may make a huge difference to the way we live. God bless.